Hi there. So today we're going to talk about the Seven of Swords, also known as the Lord of Unstable Effort. So from the get-go, we know that we're not working with something that's completely steady and straight. So in the tarot, the meaning of the swords are the intellect, the mind, it's strategy, it's our thought processes, and it's how we communicate. So the sevens are often tests and our limitations. And it's something of a maturity, uh, like you mature here in the seven. So when we talk about traditional meanings, we talk about deception, betrayal, secrets being revealed, and an escape strategy, something so to speak. It's very strategic, the Seven of Swords. So let's talk about what we see in the card because I think it's really quite interesting. So we come across this figure and he looks like he is like sneaking away. He's got five double-edged swords in his hand. And it's almost as if his feet are going in one direction, but his body is going completely in the other. He is looking over his shoulder and I see this as a um, as representative of him being conflicted between his conscious and his unconscious, between right and wrong, and also of him looking back to his past, almost as if he's either bringing some of his past with him or all the facts that he needs are not yet fully present. And that is represented by the two um, swords that are still left in the ground. The two swords that are there, maybe that's what he's looking back at, or represent our doubts and what is not yet known. Other things that I noticed, he's got this bright red hat on and at the same time wearing bright red shoes. That is our will, our passion, its focus, its intention, and it's how quickly we move. And both his head and his feet are moving quite quickly. And the yellow background is the last thing I'll point out, which has the positive um, reference of being focus, intention, and very much aware. And it also can be, in, on the negative side, a little bit of distrust. So let me ask you, what do you see in the Seven of Swords? Leave me a comment. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.